You're tuned to the wavelength of your own beauty. It's your host, Ahmed Yunus, and this is The Step. Okay, what I want to do is jump real quick to Paulo Freire uh, from Brazil, from Recife, and I will um, hopefully do uh, just one session on Recife, its significance uh, in uh, the development of Western civilization, its significance uh, in terms of the development of uh, Jewish identity in the Western Hemisphere uh, after uh, the expulsion uh, by Ferdinand and Isabella, um, but that's for another day. The radical committed to human liberation does not become prisoner of a circle of certainty. Remember, remember, critical consciousness is impossible in a paradigm of impossibility. Sir, it's always like it's always going to be like that. Oh, it's always going to be this. It's always going to be well. You know, somebody has to be poor. I mean, hey, you know, I, I, rape is a thing because somebody has to get raped. No, no, actually, there is no circle of certainty around injustice, around self hate, around drug abuse, around the abuse of other human beings. Impossibility is a mirage that has been placed before us and we have taken advantage of. Read Eric Fromm, Escape from Freedom. We are attempting to escape from freedom. Why? Because freedom requires responsibility. It requires reading. It requires discourse. It requires dialogue. It requires transparency. It requires authenticity. It requires understanding the power of love. It requires fighting ugliness with beauty. And how are you supposed to do that? And pay the mortgage. And do your job. And raise your kids. Or find somebody to marry. Or save enough money to get the next car. How are, how are we supposed to do these things together? Like, is this podcast about books and highfalutin ideas that are in the sky? Absolutely not. We are talking about the ideas that humans have experienced from the beginning of time. And what I'm going to try to do is like bring you into my world. Through the literature, through the travels, through the stories, through the experiences, through my friends, bring you into that world of believing in the possibility of a more just and beautiful reality that can come to fruition in the future. But sobriety is necessary. Sobriety is absolutely necessary. There can be no veils. There can be no self-imposed veils as a means of escaping our freedom. We must embrace. We must embrace. Freire, again, awareness of the world, which makes awareness of myself viable and makes unviable the immutability of the world. Awareness of the world and awareness of myself make me not only a being in the world, but one with the world and with others. It makes me a being capable of intervening in the world and not only of adapting to it. It is in this sense that women and men can interfere in the world while other animals can only touch it. That is why not only do we have a history, but we make our history, which equally makes us, and thus makes us historic. Did you hear that? 
You're historic. You're historic. No, yeah, no, not you. Yep, yeah, you. Yep. Historic. Historic. Because I saw Trump raise his hand. I was like, no, not you, bro. Not you. Actually, wait, I want to stop my podcast. Can we have a moment of silence for the cruise ship industry, please? Moment of silence. And, and for the billionaires wait moment of silence for Michael Bloomberg's campaign oh lord have mercy on the campaign soul okay very good thank you very much I cannot come to know myself absent getting to know the world it is the reason that I am writing It is the reason that I am speaking to you. It is the reason that we are doing this. So that we do not adapt to our oppression. So that we do not race to our intellectual and emotional death. We must intervene in the world. For it to be life-giving. For it to be beauty and justice enhancing. We must become aware. And then we must stand in solidarity with one another. So that we can intervene and make history. And be historic. That is the charge before us. When we speak of consciousness. We are not simply speaking of awareness like human as animal awareness when we speak of consciousness we're talking about the ability of an individual to engage in a dialogue with the self with nature with the other between one's self and one's consciousness. Critical consciousness is about understanding the world enough to be able to make sense of the things that we have been told, the words from our parents, from society, from your boss, from your abusive boyfriend. And often we're confused in the mix between words and the reality that we see in the world. And so we must develop a way of naming it. Naming what? Naming what it is that we are trying to understand about the world. And we must begin a dialogue between that world, the news, for example, and the word. The word in music, the word in art, the word in poetry. The, I already know that somebody's going to tell me poetry is an art. I love you too. I'm even going to call you out by name, but I won't do it. The word in the literature so that'll be my job my job will be to come here and try to connect between the word and the world and in doing so I am yearning for my own development that we can come together and build community and co-construct this knowledge that we're going to learn in small bites every week. It's like a a spa for your subconscious. It's like a, a retreat for your soul. Like a moment where you tell Babylon to stop and you allow yourself to be present You allow yourself to fully sense what is here. So 
so that you can begin to calibrate your appreciation of your own beauty and your own greatness and your own capacity for social change. Critical thinking is not about criticizing. It is about love. It is about hope. It is about the untested feasibility of a more beautiful future. حضرت السادة الركاب أهنئكم بسلامة الوصول إلى مطار القاهرة الدولي بالفعل